Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the Labor Day edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 5th of September. What used to be Tropical Storm Lee will be impacting the state in a great way today with the dual threat of flash flooding and a few small spin-up tornadoes. And that's going to be a real difficult issue to deal with today. Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off, coming from downtown Jasper, where a soaking tropical rain is falling. A little before 6 o'clock. Same story in Fayette, just a driving rain falling. And again, for a state that was so dry in August, this is really more of a good thing for sure. And in Gadsden, uh, some light rain falling. And again, you can barely see the lights of the city down there. That's the uh, sky cam up on top of Lookout Mountain, not too far from Nakalula Falls. All right, uh, there's the uh, big picture. Got the uh, heat ridge shunted off to the west, a trough over the east. And within that trough, we have Tropical Depression Lee. There's the uh, surface field, uh, again, a little before 6 o'clock. And that thing has just not moved much all weekend long. The lowest pressure is right over Lake Pontchartrain. And uh, again, you can see the big rains uh, with that over Mississippi and then across Alabama, uh, the most widespread rain is up to the north, and those bands coming up from the south will have to be watched for the potential for those small tornadoes today. And those are very challenging to deal with. Uh, there's the low-level helicity, the 0 to 1 kilometer hel helicity values. And again, you can see them very high over much of uh, southern Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida panhandle, which means the winds are veering pretty uh, dramatically in the lowest 1 kilometer of the atmosphere. And that could perhaps set off a few of these... Uh, uh, little small tornadoes in those uh, uh, rain showers. There's the uh, radar, different look there at uh, 548 this morning. And note there are uh, three tornado warnings uh, over Mississippi, uh, none in Alabama at this point. But as the uh, daytime heating process begins to work on the air, it becomes a little more unstable. Uh, again, I would imagine we'll see a few tornado warnings today. But finding these things is like a needle in a haystack. Uh, we'll check the tornado watch. This is until 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, basically for areas along and south of U.S. 278. Uh, all of the uh, uh, Birmingham County warning areas, uh, counties are in there. It does not include any of the Huntsville CWA counties. So Cullman and counties north are not in this. And uh, again, uh, you know, the, the tornadoes that are involved with these things typically last for north, no more than one or two minutes. So, you know, by the time you, you see a, a Couple it on radar or hear a report, you put out a warning, it's gone. And uh, they are often below the radar if it's a distance away from the radar sites because these are very low topped. There's no thunder, there's no lightning. It's just a big challenge. So, uh, you know, how you handle that, it's, uh, it's difficult. So we'll just get through the day and watch for these. But again, this is nothing like April 27th. Uh, these are weak, short lived, low top tornadoes. Uh, there's the convective outlook at our standard slight risk for the southern two-thirds of Alabama and parts of the adjacent states. And uh, it's interesting that the uh, usually it's the wind is the higher probability or the hail, but in this case it's the tornado threat. Uh, there's no chance of any hail. This is a warm core system. And, of course, the, the pressure gradient winds won't be that bad. And that means it's a 10% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of any given point uh, in that part of Alabama, basically uh, uh, the southern uh, half of the state there. So we'll watch things. QPF chart, here's the good news. Good beneficial rain. Uh, this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about 5 to 10 inches uh, for uh, much of that zone affected by Lee today. And again, we'll take that. Heaviest rain should be right here through North Alabama. Great. All right, rest of the tropics, we got Katia out there. And then we got that nice looking wave in the uh, low latitudes in the eastern Atlantic. A long way out there. Uh, there's a look at Katia, now a hurricane with estimated sustained winds of 100 miles an hour on its way to becoming a major hurricane. And there's the track. And again, the, the very good agreement here. This should be a recurving storm not affecting the United States. Uh, good for Bermuda and that it's going to be passing west of there, passing east of the U.S. Atlantic coast and uh, recurving out into the open Atlantic. So uh, no threat to land. Check the uh, GFS. This is the OZ run at 7 o'clock local time this evening. Look at the trough over the east. How about them apples? 
is finally going to pick Lee up. Uh, Lee, the, the model has Lee this evening at 7 around Montgomery. Uh, again, uh, it, the GFS has been wanting to move it faster than it's really moving. Uh, it, it'll be up somewhere. And again, the center point doesn't matter. The, the heaviest range should be north of the circulation center up this way tonight. And of course, there's also a flash flood watch in effect. And then tomorrow, uh, the circulation is near Asheville, North Carolina, tomorrow evening. There could be some wraparound moisture, maybe a few lingering showers, but uh, nothing like the rain we get today. And then Wednesday, we go dry as uh, Lee is out of here. And, of course, you know, it's interesting. The, the one thing we're not going to deal with this week, it, it's the heat. Uh, you know, you can clearly forget the 90s. In fact, uh, highs this week, uh, like tomorrow, the, the model is showing 69. And Wednesday, 75. Wednesday morning's low of 56. We're talking 40s for the cooler valleys. Wow. That's all right. There's Thursday. Again, uh, the high is 78. And Friday, the high is 79. I mean, just like a switch. Here at Labor Day, fall air is in here. And the heat is gone. Morning's refreshing. That's fantastic. Uh, Saturday starting off the weekend. Look at this upper low. Interesting feature. It's uh, a little north of Little Rock and. uh you know, those can be pesky to deal with. It's totally cut off from the westerlies that are up in Canada. And down below that, there's evidence that there could be a few showers around with that feature, mainly north and west of here. For now, I think we'll leave Saturday dry. And again, uh, you know, it looks like highs low to mid 80s, not, nothing hot at all. And then Sunday, that thing just kind of drifts in here and it looks like we might need to, see, you know, mention some chance of uh, showers on Sunday, but nothing especially widespread, uh, mid 80s and a week from today, kind of the same thing. You know, there could be a shower, but this is suggesting nothing really widespread. But again, forget 90s for a while. I mean, they're just off the board, just like that. All right, uh, this is the end of the forecast, September 20th. Hey, we still got ridging here. And down below that, that looks kind of uneventful. And off to the east, you can see some type of tropical system in the Atlantic. And again, like we've been talking about, this sure seems like it's the year of the recurving hurricane in the Atlantic. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. We go back to the regular two-a-day schedule tomorrow. We'll have the uh, two-a-days back as we get off the holiday schedule, but I will be in the uh, TV station, of course, today. Should we have any tornado warnings, we'll be there taking care of that for you on, uh, on television and on the live stream. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Labor Day, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.